Now then guys, welcome back. This is episode 6, I believe, of my Minecraft playthrough. There's a few things that I want to get to into this episode, and I might not be able to get to them all. But uh, the first thing that I would like to do, to show you guys, is what's going on with my bees. Now, ahead of time, I've gone and done mining, you know, I've gone and collected a couple more of these modest, uh, the modest line of bees from... A beehive that was over there in that desert biome over there, where the obelisks are. There was one just laying around, so I thought I'd get that on the way through whilst I was mining. Well, let's see what this has made. We already know about the parched cones. So we have a common princess, which is a new type. And we've got the forest drones. Which aren't stackable anymore. They used to be stackable with the drones, but they're not anymore. Uh, okay, I want to have some actual purebred modists, so I'm just going to do that with them. I'm going to keep that common princess for another time. Modest queen, as I would expect. Now let's go and uh, check on the other ones. I was wondering why I was not getting any sound then, but I am. Let's go and check on my other apiary and see what's going on there. Remember these are the ones that I put forest um, forest runs in. So I would expect to get forests out to be honest. Forest princess, forest drones, and one honeycomb. So let's get forest princess and a normal forest drone in there and keep that line running. And I did plant a few uh, crops as you can see here. Hoping for more seeds, but it just seems that I'm not getting more seeds. It's really annoying. What can we do? They seem to be taking an age to grow, they really do. Um, I also took the um, redstone torch up from there so it wouldn't actually blow my house up. We've got seven beeswax and four honey drops from them, so I'll actually keep them aside for when I'm actually in the house because that could be dangerous. I'm really running out of space here. Creating them all. Mm, okay. God, I'm really running out of space. Why is it? I don't understand why it's doing that. It's beyond me. But never mind. Put my bees in there for a minute. And I believe. Yes, I have. That's good. So my cooked chickens with me and my pork chop so if I get hungry. The next thing I want to get to is um, the vase. Now, I've come up with a fix for this. Now, I hope it works. It may or may not, but I need... Does that not make it? Yeah, it is. I need a vase storage tank, which basically acts as a storage tank for all the vase. Basically self-explanatory. I have filled this up a little bit more with a couple of the gems that I had. Um, that's we don't need all them gems, to be honest. So let's shove them in there. Now they are worth quite a bit in, you know, in terms of value. Um, and what I, I was looking at the recipe for the storage tank on there. But what you will notice is that I've actually got a bit more on here. I've added the equivalent exchange mod. Um, I, I knew I said that I wasn't going to go with this, but there's just a couple of uh, items in here that I really can't do without. The, where are they? Them. These are essential for mining. These tell you exactly where things are and uh, just what is in a 3x3 radius of what you're clicking on, but I should go to them in uh, just a second, but first I want to show you the Vs storage tank and I need the enchanted wood that I did earlier I also need some glass panes and I believe it, yes I do and craft a Vs storage tank like so like that now let's put that there and any Vs that's in the system will get drained out of there 
as you can see, it's going down quite considerably. None left in there now, and it's all going to the storage tank. Now, I'm hoping this works, because if it doesn't work, then there must be a bug in there or something, because it just doesn't make any sense to me. The great one log I'm going to take, and I did collect some crystals whilst I was out. I'll get an earthen one, we have quite a few of them. There we are, five enchanted wood from them. But what you'll notice is that this is a darker colour than this stuff that's in here. Now this is the vase, and uh, every time you use something, and have, every time you um, infuse something, uh, taint gets released into this. It uses the vase, but you know leaves the taint. It can't use the taint that's in the system. So, I know it's confusing, I know, just bear with me. Uh, I don't have any more logs for actually doing there. Checking on the day time and the amount of day time that I've got left. Right, um, the next thing that I want to get to is, like I said, the equivalent exchange mod. And I really will start wanting to, I want to get that, which is the divining rod. The third tier. There's three tiers. The first tier is crafted like that. Now you're probably wondering, well, what the hell is this stuff here? Well, you can get one piece of charcoal, eight pieces of cobblestone makes 40 covalence dust. So let's get a stick. I haven't got any charcoal. It doesn't work on coal, it is purely charcoal, so I'm going to have to go out and... Uh... Where's my axe? I've got one in here, there it is. I'm going to have to go out and cut down a tree. No big deal. this down really quick. And this is to make charcoal and also I can uh, infuse some more wood to make enchanted wood because I do need quite a, a bit of that. God, that's a massive tree. That doesn't mean these really big trees, eh? Let's take that for a minute, I'll come back and sort that out later on. And no seeds from that, wonderful. I'm hoping that that kind of system works because uh, I really want to get into this and show you a little bit more. So firstly I want one of them. Just one bit of charcoal is all I'm after. I don't need any more. I've got the cobblestone on me, so charcoal. The covalent dust. Now this gets you your first tier of your divining rod, which is there. I'm going to show you how it works. You simply right click anywhere and it'll tell you what the value of items is. Now the value of the different values for different items, obviously, the more rarer an item the more value it's got. So say for example, one around here, it suggests a value in the 3x3 three three area, there's, there's a value around one. It's not very powerful, it's the worst version of the divining rod, but it just basically gives you a, a, a hint at what is exactly around you in a 3x3 three three area that you're clicking on. So, one, two, three, by one, two, by one, two, three, and then the uh, three deep I think, so three by three by three, sorry, of an area. So it suggests a value of one, of one, which basically means there is dirt, cobblestone, sand, you know, all the basic types of blocks. That is an average of what is around there. Now you can get a more powerful version of that, which is the second tier divining rod, which is with the blue covalence dust which is a redstone and then I got, which I've got loads of. I seem to be getting a little bit of a lag now, because it's turning night time, I can tell. So this is the blue covalence dust, and you get your first divining rod. You craft it like that. This is a little bit better. 
you can press the G key and you get two different ranges, a short range and a mid range. Short range is just 3x3x3, three by three by three, which you click around it and it, say, it suggests that there's an average value of around 1 and it says the best found, which is still 1. Useful if you are mining. Best found 128. I forget my little book that I have. Where is it? Gone. Here it is. I come prepared, honestly. Here we are. 128, I, I believe. Is it coal? I could be wrong. Where's it gone? There we are. 128 is coal. I was right. Uh, suggests a value, an average value in that 3 by 3 by 16 deep area. That there's an average of three, but the best found was 128, which is coal. There is a coal block in there, which is the best value. But we don't want to stop there. We want to get the most powerful divining rod that there is, which is crafted with this dark blue covalence dust, which requires diamond and a coal. Now, luckily, I can find more diamond while I'm out of the world. I've got a cool ten pieces now. Or nine. Plug this. Go and diamond in there, get that round in a circle. Stick the divining rod in the middle. Gives you the best divining rod that there is. I'm going to install that in there. This does three different ranges. You've got the 3x3x3, the 16x3x3, and then the 64x3x3x3. Now let's go back to the 3x3x3, and this tells you. It suggests about an average value of around 1, and it tells you the first best found, the second best found, and the third best found in that 3x3x3 three by three by three area. So let's knock that up to the 16x3x3, by three by three, and you can see the best found is 128, which is coal. The second best is 4, which is gravel, I believe. Yeah, gravel. And then the third best found, which is dirt, sand cobble, you know, that kind of thing, stone, whatever it is. Let's knock it up to the full 64 by 3 by 3 range. Now this does a 3 by 3 range, so you know your normal big square around you, but it does 64 deep. So you can see there we've got a new value. Um, it suggests an average value of around 4. The best value is 512, which is silver, which is part of the Red Power Mod, it's not in the normal Minecraft by the way, so don't look for it, because you, you won't find it. Silver is in the Red Power, second is coal, third is gravel. Very, very useful for mining, very, very useful for finding diamonds and all sorts of different stuff that you actually need. So say for example, the industrial craft uses a lot of Red Power. Now, with using a lot of red, uh, sorry, the industrial craft use a lot of redstone, should I say. The, draw, the downside is that you've got to find the redstone. And the redstone is a value of uh, 64 by itself. You know, but there is, I think there's five pieces in a thing. So I think it's around about 320, or something like that, that uh, redstone is. So if you come across 320, it's redstone. And then you can just dig your way to it. So very, very useful tool to have when you're mining, definitely, and I really, really needed that, as uh, it was just a pain in the backside, going through, you know, just mining normally. So I decided to add it, purely for that kind of purpose. There is um, other bits and bobs that you can do with the equivalent exchange, which, uh, if we take a look, down here, Bit right. This value, so say for example, like I said, silver is worth 512. 512 what? 512 feathers? 512 cups of tea? No, it's worth 512 EMC. That is the value range that it is. That's what it's called, EMC. Uh, these energy collectors collect EMC out of the air. That's what they do. As long as they're powered by a light source, they can collect EMC just by itself, but it is a very expensive machine. One diamond block, a glass furnace surrounded by glowstone. The, the first thing that I want to get, and this is why I've got some obsidian, 
and why I picked it up last time because I had a feeling that I might uh, need obsidian to make the nether because I need some gloss I need some glowstone at some point so I'm actually going to set that up sometime soon not now because it's night time and I can hear stuff outside and I'm scared so I don't do that kind of thing let's put that in there um, right Get some more stuff into macerate. Get some silver in there. There's no sounds at all coming from them at the moment, which is surprising. Look at that, stocking up on rubber, most definitely. The next thing I want to think about making is renewable energy. Now to start renewable energy, we've got to have somewhere to put this renewable energy. We can't just put it straight into the machines. Otherwise, like I said, it'll blow up. So we need to craft two things. Um, first is the bat box. Uh, second is the LV transformer. Uh, but I think that's if you're using an MFA. I could be wrong, but um, we'll soon find out. So the bat box... Ooh, God. I can't remember how that's created now. That box created. That's the question. Right, just bear with me a second. While I uh, take a look on the internet. There it is. Industrial craft wicket. I could have pressed R on the thing, but it still crashes, so. You're shitting me. What? Com conspiracy to commit arsonness. What? I think it's been... Uh... <laughs> How the hell am I meant to get to that then? Oh, I'm meant to come on. Got to be taking the piss, Charlotte. Yeah, it is. Right. I wonder what the fuck was going on there. Well, Jesus Christ, you scared me. Right, bat box. Here it is. Three batteries, five wood, and a and a cable. We can do that easy. So let's get that done. Three batteries requires twelve tin. 12 tin, 6 redstone, and 3 copper cables, but we need 4 anyway, so I may as well take that, unless, no we've got some here, let's create them batteries. We need the wood planks as well, which I've got some in here. Put that there, that there, 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 there. I mean, this, this bat box is also useful for when... Uh, and another achievement, nice one. It's also useful for when you've got a generator like I have here. And you want to put that you know, power from the generator into this. This bat box holds energy. But we'll get there in a second because I need another tool. Which I'm going to have to have a bloody look at because I'm a clown. And it's called the electric wrench. I can't remember how to make it. I think it's just a wrench with a, another battery and an electronic circuit. Yeah, it is. Bronze. Okay. Okay, we can deal with this. Bronze. Pop in tin. Bronze. I think you can still make it with this type of bronze. Yes, you can. That's good. Uh, so there's the bronze. We need another battery yet again. Ah, it seems to be getting dirt time, that's good. Mm. 
There we are. See what I mean? Why is it doing that? I'm on normal, it shouldn't be able to back the door down. Oh god, this is not going to be good. be able to. Go away. Oh, mustn't be that. Creepers out there and everything. God, scared me. Look at the daylights out of me. Imagine that. Imagine that on a hard mode. And you, imagine that in real life. You sat there, if you're, you know, making some stuff. And then you turn around and zombies try to bash the door down. That'd be quite scary, that. Anyway, what was I doing before I got so really interrupted? I haven't got enough copper cables. I need a couple more. Which is fine. I can deal with that. Pretty easy. In fact, let me just make a few more, because you never know when I need a bit of a surplus going on. One more. Okay, so I've got six there, I don't need any more. I need some refined iron, which I've got lovely. I've got a piece there, a couple of redstone. Craft myself one of them. Lovely. There we are, the electric wrench, which of course needs charging. The reason why I'm making this electric wrench is so I can actually pick my machines back up. I get this charge, I can pick my machines up without, you know, losing them back to a machine block. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But, uh, I've got to deal with them, haven't I, really, because I want to go out there at some point. They're still there. There's two of them. How am I going to deal with that? Should I dive out here and have a look? Nah, best not. <laughs> best not. Just in case. Right, so wait for this, uh, this uh, wrench to uh, charge up. Nearly there now. And then I'm going to pick all these machines back up, so I want to take everything out of it, really. I tried to get a convenient inventory installed as well, but unfortunately it wouldn't, it wouldn't play ball with me. So, let's get that out of there, because we don't want that. Charge it up. Right, which. Whoa, I don't want to do that. I can't remember which key it is. No, it's not that one. Ooh, that. I've just pressed that one. Custom bre. What? What is that? Oh, that's village. That's what it is. That's the zoom fu function. Apologise for this. I really should uh, learn what to do. I could swear it was G, but it's obviously not. I'm pressing them all, but not what's happening. I'm sure it was V, but I can't do anything. I'm just gonna have to pick them up and hope it's uh, you right click and then it pops out. And it looks, oh look at that, I've got them all, which is brilliant. Sometimes you lose them back to a machine block, which is a pain in the backside. But, uh, I've got to sort the config files out for that, if that's the case. So let's put them in there for the minute. Right, I will need, I knew I should have made some more. cables to um, connect my stuff up and you'll see why in a minute. Okay so looking at this, right, what do I want to do? 
I need the generator going into the back box. So let's get the generator back. Just there. Put the generator here. See so power cables there. And this back box works quite simple. The uh, blob, the face with the blob on it, is the output. Everything else, every other face, this face, that face, that face, bottom face, and the side face on that side, is the input slots. This is the output slot, so I want to do that there. I oh, need to think about this, because... Uh, I think that might do, but I'll need to move this. You know what? No. In fact, I'm going to change that up. I'm going to change it. It's a bit of an eyesore, is that? That's going to be above ground like that, so. Let's change that. Face that so it's facing downwards like that. But I want it the other way, I want it there. Okay, nice and easy. That means it's going to come out the bottom. So I'm going to do something a little sneaky now. I'll feed that along there. So, any coal that I put in here, so let me get some. Oh, I've got some on. This, I put in. Hang on. There we are. Starts filling up this back box. You can see the EU filling up there quite nicely. And the back box then feeds it out through this cable through here. So, this is where. I want my um, fingers, my machines. I'm going to stick the extractor in the corner there because it's not really that interesting. Uh, but the macerator and the electric furnace I want there. They're all getting power. There's no uh, copper cables showing, they're all under the floor. The reason why I put this back box there is because I'm going to do something else very soon, which you'll see. You'll see, it involves uh, like a little wart mill type thing going on, which I've got the idea from somebody else. So there we are. Like I said, this is going to continue powering this up until it reaches 40,000 EU. When it reaches 40,000 EU, it'll then stop charging it up. So you've got a considerable more time you know, with that, than that has. That lasts for about, I don't know, I don't know what's in there to be quite honest, but that's got a considerable amount of more storage, so. Right, so think about what we're going to do next. Like I said, I want to get some renewable energy, so that is what I'm going to be doing next, creating myself a little water mill farm. But I need to get all the stuff ready uh, for you, so I'm not like going in between chests and then getting it all, you know what I mean? I'll get it on my person. And uh, I shall do that off camera, I believe. We're coming up to our half hour mark now anyway. So join me in episode 7 where we're going to actually get some renewable energy on the go.